Uh, Tony Fold here. Uh, this is just a short uh, video to uh, show a very uh, simple and quick uh, modification I make to a Bridgeport mill and it probably applies to uh, some of the clones as well. And it concerns the quill lock. Uh, normally the quill lock's on, on the, the front here. Uh, it's got a right hand thread so when, when it's up the, the quill is freed off. And when it's uh, down, it um, uh, pulls the clamps together and locks the quill in place. The problem that I found was that gravity, in particular, when there's a little bit of vibration from the machine running, uh, gravity will sometimes bring that down and not exactly lock the quill, but make the quill stiffer to, to move, which is just more... Uh, wear and tear on me but also more wear and tear on the machine but it's very simple to change that around if you unscrew the, the handle then you can unscrew the bolt that goes through as I do that I push inwards which brings the clamping piece out at the other side so I can easily pull it out Okay, that's freed up. So there's a clamping piece. This piece goes against the quill, and there's an unthreaded one in this side. Well, all I do is swap those around. I put that one in the back, this one in the front, screw the bolt up from the, the back. Till it's tight, screw the handle back in, and so now the direction's reversed. I lift it up to lock the, the quill. Because that's tight and locked, uh, gravity and the vibration of the machine doesn't bring that down. But and then when it's in the down free position, it stays there. That's all there is to it. And I, I found that uh, it just makes using uh, the, the mill moving the quill so much easier. Um, if you found this uh, tip helpful, please like and share it. And if you want to uh, get advised of other videos, please subscribe to my channel, Moto Chassis. Thanks for watching.